Hi and welcome to this video where we'll be looking at um, how to install packages from the uh, Node Package Manager or NPM as you may have heard it uh, being called and we'll be looking at the um, CSS min package which essentially allows you to minify CSS files and that sort of compresses the size of them and then outputs it in a dot min um, abbreviation sort of CSS um, style sheet as it were. So let's get on with that. Now the first things first is you need to make sure you've got gulp. So if I just run gulp I will get an error there that says no gulp file found. So that's okay because we haven't set one up yet. But if you don't have gulp you can look at my previous video which looks at installing Node.js, NPM and gulp as well. So you get the, all the dependencies required to run it in your um, environment. Okay, so first thing we need to do is actually um, create a, um, well we need a package first and I'm going to be looking at the CSS minification package. So get yourself over to npmjs.com which is the npm repository sort of online where you can search all the um, packages and I'm going to put in gulp because it needs to work with gulp. I'm going to put CSS and then I'm sort of min so because I want a CSS minifier and here we go it's gulp CSS min and the little description says minify CSS using gulp. So that sounds pretty good to me. Now once you're on the package page there's loads of information it tells you how to install it, gives you an example of the code, it gives you some other bits and bobs as well, then it also gives you um, who published it, the current version, the GitHub repository, the licensing involved, and then it gives you some stats as well. So that should give you an idea of how popular it is, or if you're if it's low on stats, it may be new or it may just not be very good. So we can see here this has 682 downloads in the last day, the last week, the last month two open issues on GitHub. So that looks really good, that looks what we want. And then it also gives you the dependencies as well. Um, so note the gulp rename, gulp rename here. Um, right then, so let's remember that, 0.1.7. Right, so instead of um, running the npm install save dev gulp min command, I'm actually gonna create a package.json um, file as I just feel it's a bit cleaner to manage uh, and easier to see what versions you're working with. So this is JSON so it does need to be valid JSON. So let's open them. So we're just going into the dependencies here and the first one is CSS min and we're going to go for the latest version of that which is 0.1.7 and then we also need to uh, include the gulp-rename uh, package as well. And you, what you can also do is you can also put the version number or you can just put star which will get you the latest uh, version available. So that's, let's save that and what we now need to do is jump into the terminal and we're going to just run um, the sudo npm install command that will find our uh, package.json and then it will install um, all the packages and the dependencies required for those packages and you can sort of see this um, bar there. So there we go, that's all installed. So if we go to the top, we're on gulp-cssmin 0.1.7 and then go down to the bottom and we'll see gulp rename and that's actually version 1.2.2. Okay, fantastic. So what we need, what we now need to do is create a gulp file because if we uh, run the gulp command, there's no gulp file found. So let's uh, jump into Sublime again, and we're going to be just calling this gulp file.js. <clears throat> right then. First things first. What we need to do is we need to um, set our variables and require our packages. So first thing we need is gulp. And that's going to be require, and that is just gulp. I'm just going to be a bit lazy and then just drop them down as well. Um, the next one we want is CSS min, and then that's required gulp CSS min, and then we also need the rename package as well, and that is gulp rename. Fantastic. So now we can jump into the actual nitty gritty of the code. 
so we need to jump into the um, gulp variable and then the task. Uh, we'll just be calling it default as that's what the gulp command actually looks for. So if you run gulp, it looks for the default. If you put your own command in, you need to run gulp space command name here, if you like. Um, and then we'll also, we're going to just run the function. And this is where the magic happens. So first of all, we're searching at SRC for a style sheet, or CSS. And then we need to actually pipe in the, the code. So CSS min, we need rename, and then the, the suffix that it's going to add on. And that's actually going to be uh, .min, so we know it's the minified version. And then we need to put the gulp.dest in. So where it's going to put the file. Now I'm just working in the current directory where all my files are, but normally you'd have some sort of CSS uh, or styles folder, possibly an assets folder as well. Um, but just sort of to keep this simple, um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it in that one for now. Okay, so everything looks good there. Let's save that. We'll jump back into the terminal. And now what I need to do is actually create the uh, style sheet because otherwise um, the gulp file will uh, it, the gulp task will fail because it can't find the style sheet. So I'm just going to show um, some basic code to show you how it works. This is comment h1 um, color. Let's go red and let's do font size. 30 pixels, and then let's just do another one here, pre, let's do margin, 20 pixels. So really, really basic. Yours will probably have a lot more lines than 10, and also a lot more complex as well. But this is just to give you an idea, because you can see all the, the spacing, um, the comments, all that business, and we'll see how that works. So let's save that, jump back into our terminal, and now that everything, we've got everything, I'll just show you the working directory. We've got the gulp file, the node modules where our CSS min and CSS rename live with our package JSON and our stylesheet.css. Fantastic. So we, let's run the gulp command. There we go. Brilliant. So it says using gulp file, right, starting default because we didn't define a name and finish default after 8.22 milliseconds. So that's it, it, very, very favorable very fast <laughs> and it's just ls so now you can see we've got the stylesheet.min.css and we've also got the stylesheet.css so let's actually open the um, minified version in sublime so you can see it now here we go it's removed the comment it's to, it's put it all onto one line it's removed any spacing that's uh, not required um, yeah so that looks fantastic and it's valid, uh, obviously if we input the valid CSS in the first place, which I believe we did, then the output will be valid CSS as well. So now let's actually have a little look at the difference there. So what we can do is we can run the ls, uh, dash l flag, and then star.css to pick up all our CSS files in the working directory. And there we go. So we've got style sheet at the top and the minified version at the bottom. So that's there is uh, 90 bytes and that is 44 bytes. So that's essentially halved the CSS size um, of the file. So obviously bytes is, is, is nothing because we're only doing a really basic example here. But the great thing about that is um, Obviously, you can see the difference there that it's made. So hopefully this could help you out um, with your CSS minification problems, if you like. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. This was just a really basic look um, at how to install the package and how to get it running. And thank you for watching.